start now, we'll start now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this public hearing of the Committee on Public Works uh, joined with the uh, Committees on Economic Affairs, uh, Ways and Means, and uh, Finance is hereby called to order. <coughs> the previous hearing was uh, suspended, so uh, we will now continue the discussion on the PPP uh, bills. Um, this time, I would like to uh, ask the Committee Secretary to acknowledge our guest. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. The following are present today. Mr. Ferdinand Apexon, <coughs> Executive Director, PPP Center. <coughs> Director Dominic Mariano from the Bureau of Treasury of the Department of Finance. Mr. Renato Rosales from Commission and Audit. Mr. Alex Bote, Director, Department of Public Works and Highways. Attorney Rosalio Elena Cuevas, Senior State Counsel representing the Department of Justice. Engineer Joe Carrasco, from the Philippine Domestic Construction Board representing the Department of Trade and Industry, Engineer Lailani Del Prado from the Philippine Domestic Construction Board also representing the Department of Trade and Industry, and Engineer Sergio Retome uh, from the Philippine Contractors Association Board or uh, from the D DTI also. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, uh, Committee Secretary. And I want to thank uh, to all the, the, the guests uh, present here for giving this, uh, um, giving uh, time to come this hearing. Um, this uh, public hearing was called uh, here today to discuss the two, uh, two, two, two three, uh, um, uh, three bills uh, which uh, um, bills filed on public private uh, partnership, uh, we have seen it bill number uh, one five, uh, public uh, private partnership act filed by Senator Drilon, and the one I filed, the uh, Senate bill number uh, nine zero, public private uh, partnership uh, for the people or uh, P4 Act of the Philippines. <coughs> and also, Senator Recto uh, filed the uh, Senate Bill number uh, 18, uh, 1820, uh, public uh, private partnership. Uh, this, uh, he filed uh, recently. Uh, 10, uh, 1080, public pri uh, private partnership. Uh, filed by Rigto. Um, do you have any uh, presentation? Uh, no, PowerPoint presentation. Mr. Senator, kami po sa PPP Center. I'm Ferdinand Pexon po uh, Executive Director ng PPP Center. Uh, we have a position paper po to discuss or present to the body. Po. Okay, just uh, su submit your uh, position papers to the uh, committee secretary. If uh, if I may request, uh, Mr. Chair and Mr. Senator, if I can discuss this also in this hearing. Yes, uh, we were going to ask your questions about that. And uh, let me ask you about this. Um, uh, what can you say about the three bills that filed in this uh, in, in the Senate? You, what's your uh, uh, opinion or suggestion? How can you um, how can you say about these uh, three bills that filed in the Senate? Maraming salamat po, uh, Senator. Uh, bukod by the way, bago ko po sagutin yung tanong, bukod po dun sa tatlong bills na nabanggit po ninyo, meron na rin mga nakasalang na, na bill sa House. Uh, and, in, and therefore, uh, we can say that there are magandang... Before you uh, continue, I would like to ask the presence of uh, Senator uh, Drilon, uh, the minority leader. Um, so Thank you. Continue. So, uh, Mr. Chair, Senator Drilon, if with your permission, I will continue. So, we are at the point of discussing uh, what is at least the PPP Center's comment on the various bills that have been submitted. Uh, and I said, 
we will provide inputs not just to the bills that are already in the Senate, but also bills that have been submitted in the House. Now, um, what, what we would like to propose here uh, as a way of, of uh, trying to come up with a unified or one piece of legislation that would uh, address the various issues and concerns that have been raised. No? Because after all, the reason why we have these bills uh, and questions that have been raised uh, by the public uh, to <coughs> us is why, why do we need to reform uh, the PPP program? Uh, we have the BOT law, which has been there since 1990. We have uh, NEDA-JV guidelines uh, to guide uh, government-owned controlled corporations. We have also the PPP codes of uh, local government units and other, and other uh, issuances and, and policies pertaining to PPPs. So, so masasabi ko po, we have looked at the various bills uh, that have been submitted and we see that iba-iba uh, uh, yung approach, iba-iba yung mga issues na tinatalakay, iba-iba uh, rin yung mga prinsipyo yung gusto mong pairalin. And therefore, the question is how do we then decide on which principles, which policies to enact. No? So, kami po sa PPP Center, ang naging starting point po namin ay, okay, given that we have been implementing the BOT law, the NEDA-JV guidelines, the PPP codes for a number of years, ano ba yung mga narinig nating, uh, let's say, uh, concerns? Ano ba yung mga narinig na nating hinaing? Ano yung mga hinihinging improvements? And masasabi po namin na malawak po ang range ng kanilang mga concerns. Meron po doon yung mga nagsasabi na paano ba natin mapapabilis ang delivery ng infrastructure projects through PPP. Meron naman po panig na nagsasabi ay eh, dapat kalimutan na natin ang PPP dahil hindi nakakatulong sa ibang sektor. So nap napakalawak po ng, ano, ng mga tatalakayan po nating mga mga issues. So, uh, and to be more uh, no, uh, specific, uh, perhaps ma I will give examples, I will try to cluster these issues and give examples of each. So, isang, isang cluster po ng issues na na-erase has to do with improvement of gov governance. No? So, sinasabi nila, na in some cases, especially yung mga hindi na kailangan dumaan or hindi, hindi dumadaan sa ICC process ng NEDA, ay walang independent o thorough evaluation ng mga proyekto. So nawawala yung uh, pagkakaroon ng independent body, body na hindi, mag, uh, hindi pipirma dun sa kontrata, but body na titingin sa 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 proyekto at sa kontrata at magsasabi kung dapat ituloy o hindi. Uh, ganun din po sa regulation, no? So PPP contracts are are regulated to protect uh, public interest particularly po dun sa sa toll fees kung ito ay road uh, sa mga babayaran ng mga kumukonsumo ng tubig kung ito po ay ay uh, proyekto patungkol sa water sector. Do you, do you conduct uh, um, a research evaluation before you enter in agreement like a PPP? Um, Meron pong uh, evaluation process. Iba-iba uh, po ang dinadaanan. Sino, okay. sino, sino nagkakandak ng uh, uh -huh. research evaluation? Uh -huh. Yung pong sa mga BOT projects na uh, dadaan. Kasi maraming, maraming situation na nangyari na uh, walang research evaluation and then implement and then hindi naman nagagamit because uh, uh -huh. wala ngang research evaluation and uh, most important thing is uh, yung yung uh, bago bago mag enter into an agreement kailangan do you, you have a research evaluation para kung epektibo ba ito o hindi tama tama uh, po kayo in fact uh, meron na hong nilabas sa mga reports ang COA uh, patungkol sa ilang klasing uh, uh, joint ventures involving sa water po na sinasabi nila na tila kulang nga yung sinasabi yung evaluation. So kasama po ito dun sa mga issue na nai, nailabas po. Ngayon yung balik po. So dun, uh, ang magkakandak hmm. ng research evaluation dyan magagaling sa, sa office ng uh, PPP? Ay uh, hindi Sintra. po. Uh, ang gumagawa po ng evaluation kung ito po ay BOT project 
na uma lumalagpas po sa 300 mil 300 million ang project cost dadaan po ito sa NEDA ICC. Ito po ay susuriin ng mga iba-ibang uh, ahensya na nagme-membro doon sa uh, technical board ng Investment Coordination Committee. Dadaan din po ito sa mga e economic managers sa ilang pun din pong cabinet secretaries. Kasi napaka-importante talaga yung uh, research evaluation uh, bago uh, mag, mag uh, enter into agreement na i-implement yung project o i-pursue yung project dahil uh, mamaya baka masasaya, masayang lang yung uh, proyekto, masasayang lang yung ano na hindi naman siya uh, usable o hindi viable uh -huh. sa, 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 sa hindi nakakatulong. Sure. Ta tama po kayo kasi yung pong uh, kontrata ng PPP ay hindi lang para mag-implement ng project. Kasama na rin po doon ano yung mga obligasyon na kukunin <coughs> ng gobyerno, ano mga obligasyon na gagampanan naman ng private sector. So yung mga obligasyon ng gobyerno, kailangan suriin po natin talaga bang kaya natin gawin, dapat nararapat bang uh, sakupin natin yung obligasyon na yun o dapat bang sa private sector yon kung merong mga katumbas na penalties, kung di natin matgampanan yung obligasyon, eh, kailangan siguraduhin natin na hindi tayo mapapatawa ng penalty. So, yung sinasabi niyo pong pagsusuri, yung pag-evaluate, kasama po itong mga bagay na ito. Uh, Senator Drill, uh, do you have any question? Yes. Uh, salamat. Uh, thank you. Mr. Chairman, for uh, scheduling the bill that I filed, uh, Senate Bill One Number five. 15, the Public-Private Partnership Act. I will be candid that this bill was I originally filed in the 16th Congress, 16th or 17th Congress, and uh, this was this bill was principally crafted. And, uh, and requested by the PPP Center at the time. We do appreciate that the uh, uh, contents of this measure, including the philosophy underlying the, propo the, uh, the proposed measure, uh, would be influenced to a great extent by the policies of the PPP Center at the time. Now, we we do appreciate that uh, there, has, there is a change of administration, that there can be new paradigms in uh, uh, this area. We filed this bill uh, because we thought that with the uh, uh, cornerstone policy of this administration on the Build, Build, Build program, we need to review the legal framework upon which this uh, program is, uh, uh, is, is established. Uh, but again, I, I do realize that the policies of this administration may be different from the policies in the past administration where the bill uh, was filed, when the bill was filed. Uh, for example, uh, the preference for unsolicited proposal is very clear in uh, today's uh, administration. That unsolicited proposal may not have been the major uh, uh, mode of uh, uh, public infra of, of infrastructure projects in the past. And therefore, what I am leading to uh, Mr. Pexon is maybe you can tell us uh, and if you wish to have a basic law, tell us if the thrust of the law that of the bill that we crafted, taking into account the policies at that time, would still be consistent with the policies today. Uh, so that we will not be debating on the floor on a, on a legal framework which may be different from the framework that we see today in this administration. So I guess my first step is uh, instead of uh, um, looking at the provisions one by one and commenting on it, uh, maybe you can give us a, an overall picture of how you would like the PPP Center 
to be structured and uh, to be structured given the present thrust of this administration and correct me if I'm wrong the present thrust appears to be uh, encouraging unsolicited proposals is that uh, is that a fair statement uh, Mr. Paxson before you answer that um, I would like to uh, acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator uh, uh, Sherwin Gatsalian I almost to say, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> the joke. Ju just to update my, my uh, Senator Gatsalian, I was saying that the bill that is now uh, calendar for hearing was a bill that I filed in the 16th or 17th Congress in the past administration. And the bill was crafted by the PPP Center then. I am saying that, that the, the, this, the bill, the bill's thrust was anchored principally on the policies of the PPP Center then, uh, um, um, and which favored uh, joint ventures, uh, etc. Um, we do not, we, today, from what I can see, as I was telling uh, our resource speakers, what I see in the, uh, uh, in the horizon is uh, a preference for unsolicited proposals. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's what I see. And therefore, I thought that since uh, this is, a, um, this is a, uh, a proposal that will affect our investment, uh, in our, our infrastructure investment sources, uh, maybe uh, Mr. Pexon, as our resource person, can uh, review the bill as a whole. Tell us if it is uh, it will help the present thrust of this administration, or uh, or or if there is something else that he would want to incorporate uh, in order to assist in this administration in achieving the infrastructure development that they have in the pipeline. That's when you came in, and that's uh, that's why I was going to suggest to Mr. Pexon review the bill. Uh, as a whole, and tell us if it is consistent with the policies of this administration in pursuit of its build, build, build program. So, so that's where we are, uh, Mr. Wynn. We try to find out a win-win situation. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Senator uh, Adrilon. Um, I think, uh, do you have uh, any question, uh, Senator Gasalian? Uh, the, but the reason why I came here, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, is uh, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm currently reviewing the DOTR budget, and uh, it will be heard tomorrow. And I came across this um, a note in the DOTR project on MRT3, you know, huh? MRT3. And this, uh, this, this transaction was uh, consummated a long time ago. But what really struck me when I was reading there is the provisions that are very unfavorable to the government, no? meaning there is national guarantee, and then we have to guarantee ridership. Pag hindi ho pumalo yung ridership, government has to reimburse the proponent. Then at the same time, we manage, operate, and maintain the, uh, the whole system. So meaning the proponent just built the system with government guarantee, and we have to ask government, we have to assure him of the minimum ridership. You know? The first thing that came to my mind is, how did this happen? You know? it, oh, uh, yes, uh, Senator Jolon, talagang ito yung classic na ginisa tayo sa sarili nating mantika. And my, my question, since this is a, that was at, at that point, no, was a uh, touted as a PPP, uh, PPP uh, transaction. But uh, w Mr. Pexon, what are the learnings from that deal and how do we avoid such a deal right now? And um, ano ba yung mga safeguards na linagay ho natin? Because that, until now, no, and I, I think DOTR is requesting uh, billions of pesos to continue that deal, because if we don't continue that deal, litigation will happen, and then 
the whole system will now be uh, in peril. So, ano ba yung mga natutunan natin dyan? And what safeguards uh, did we uh, put in place? And what can we put in place no, in a potential PPP uh, law? With your permission, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Senator. Uh, and if I may also, I'll try to address din po yung tanong nyo kanina, yung comment din nyo, Senator Drillon. Maybe you can address first the issues that I raised and then afterwards, uh, Senator Gatso. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, so pag-usapan po natin yung unsolicited, yung tinawag nyo po kanina, yung preference for unsolicited proposal, vis-a-vis -vis ito pong uh, <laughs> binubuo natin ngayong uh, PPP Act or yung reforms dito sa ating regulatory framework. Kami po sa PPP Center, ang aming pong tinitingnan ay pang malayuan, meaning it's not just the needs of this current administration, but also the future future administrations. When, when legislation is passed, it will affect not just the current administration, but into the future po. No? Kaya uh, what in, in so far as yung unsolicited proposal po is concerned in our dealings with the with the the rest of the executive branch what we what we propose instead is is not is not to prefer unsolicited proposals but because we recognize uh, the limited in some instances the limited capacity of agencies of government to develop projects and on the one hand, and where you have private sector willing to help, on the other hand, then let's take advantage of that. But it should not be the cornerstone of, of the PPP uh, framework. Now, if it does happen, then let's also ensure that there will be healthy, open, fair, transparent competition among those that would compete. So one of the shortcomings that we have raised, dito po sa sa current uh, BOT law is that uh, the Swiss challenge is limited to just 60 days. Swiss challenge period is just 60 days. So if you have an airport project, for example, no way that a uh, challenger within 60 days can do all the due diligence and all the, all the studies needed. Tapos po, uh, we, what we also see is that uh, the right to match given to the original proponent tilts heavily the the, the, the odds in favor of the original proponent kasi papantayan lang nila yung, yung uh, best offer. And what we propose is a competition best, based on best and final offer. Let them compete. No? So giving them, giving the, kung hindi siya nanalo sa first round yung original proponent, hindi naman, because siya ang original proponent, at least what the favor we are giving him is not a right to match but right to offer make a better offer that would compete with whoever had has made the best offer so so in short how we can improve the competition pagdating sa unsolicited proposal there are other issues po dun sa unsol uh, senator no right now in the case of the bot law yeah, let's be compare before that i cited the unsolicited proposal only uh, as as a conclusion that I have on what I read in the papers. I'm not saying that this is a, a uh, policy that you have adopted. I'm just, because I always read in the papers that the pr new projects are open for a solicited proposal. That's all, but uh, uh, you know, it's not a necessarily a conclusion um, uh, that based on some uh, uh, policies of the administration, it's just a conclusion in my mind. But yes, you address, you're saying that in, in the unsolicited proposal scheme, there are ways to improve uh, uh, the viability of a project, the interest of the public, etc. Apo. Yun po yan. So, uh, and then, uh, yung... Well, uh, with, 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 with the permission of uh, Senator Drillon, uh, in line with your uh, question, so yung... Uh, risk ng uh, LGO, yung magkaroon ng uh, uh, PPP agreement ang LGO, yung successors, di ba, yung uh, pag natalo yung, yung isang uh, nakaupo and hindi pa tapos yung project, tapos uh, umalit, hindi niya gusto yung project kasi hindi naman sa kanya. So ano yung, uh, uh, 
uh, protection doon sa sa ano na yon uh, investor. Uh, investor na rin po ito doon sa concerns na na erase na rin po no kung bakit kailangan ho nang kailangan ng reforms uh, yung pong uh, yung ako ang ang ating mga local governments meron lang ho silang three years na and well unless of course na ma, ma re elect sila then we have we have six years but within the three year time frame uh, to to do all the things necessary to especially if it's a public private partnership no misa maubos na yung dalawang taon na sa feasibility study ko pa lang eh isang taon na lang natitira para kay mayor makapag, makapagpakita ng results no so dahil dahil po doon Uh, karamihan po ng mga uh, public-private partnerships na nakikita po namin sa local level ay mga unsolicited uh, joint ventures. Why? Because na, na develop na po ng, ano, ng, ng uh, private uh, sector, nagsalang na po sila ng proposal, may kasama na pong feasibility study, ang gagawin na lang ng LGU ay pag-aralan. Pero babalik po tayo doon sa sinabi niyo po kanina. Yung, yung, na, yung, yung protection yung, ng uh, private uh, investor, um, yun ang uh, kailan sigurado eh. Kasi uh, kung magkaroon sila ng protection, mm -hmm. uh, doon sa mga uh, suc uh, successors na successor re risk ng uh, mga umuupo, oh. kasi iba-ibang may ng tao eh. Opo. Alam mo, yun yung sinasabi ko sa, sa floor, uh, sa Senate na, Iba yung may ng mga politician sa atin dito. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung iba yung hindi sa kanyang project, hindi niya ipagpatuloy, maganda man o matama. Mm -hmm. oh. e, yan ang yung usually nangyayari. Kaya oh. hindi walang kaularan yung bansa oh. natin. Ito, baguhin naman natin na may, kailang, may oh. protection yung uh, oh. uh, private investor. So, opo. So, there, there are, of course, wala hong kompletong solusyon of bulletproof o foolproof na, na solusyon. Pero ito po yung, nung tiningnan po namin itong issue, ito po yung aming mga mamumungkahe. So number one, mm. kung ito po ay isang proyekto na tumutugon sa pangangailangan talaga ng mga mamamayan, no? at ito ay na-structure natin o na yung mga kontrata ay nagawang maayos, yung chances na kukwestiyonin siya, yung chances na, na babaguhin ay mas maliit compared dun sa bara-bara lang na kontrata o kaya isang proyekto na kaduda-duda kung ano talaga ang purpose mm. ng project na yun. Tama, Pang tama. Pangalawa po, uh, pinapaloob po sa kontrata yung mga protection din po para sa private sector. So may mga obligasyon po, for example, ang gobyerno o kaya yung pwede po sila maglagay ng penalties kung merong gagawing makakasama ang LGU. So not necessarily the current mayor pwede a future mayor doing something that will adversely affect the project, pwede pong ipaloob po yun sa contract na the, the local government will face a, a potential liability na makakasakit po sa kanila. So, in that case, iiwasan po nilang uh, gumawa ng mga bagay na makakasama. Kaya tayo nito, dahil naghihiring tayo para pag-usapan yung mga problema, mm -hmm. uh, any suggestion, uh, opinion, uh, comment, Uh, para mapaganda natin bago natin uh, ma matapos at maging gan ganap na maging batas itong uh, uh, in in discuss natin na bill. Uh, kailangan mapaganda natin kasi kung hindi, babalik naman ulit dito yan, i-discuss na naman, magkaroon na naman amendment. So, mas mabuti na yung pag-usapan natin yung magiging protection sa bawat isa sa, go sa government side and the private uh, sectors, private investors. Ngayon po ako Oh, yeah. um, yun, yun yung kailangan natin i-secure lang para hindi magdadalawang isip yung mga, uh, mga mag-invest na private, di ba? Yeah, para kaya may protection lang. Oh. Okay. Yung, yung tanong ni uh, Senator Gatsal yan, um, pwede man sag tanong, sag sagutin. So, tungkol naman po dun sa MRT3, no? Uh, na 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 basa ko meron na rin ho akong mga nabasang mga studies tungkol po diyan sa MRT3 at uh, ang tanong niyo po kanina ano ang maaring uh, kapulutan natin na lessons dito sa project na to given yung ano nangyari nung nakaraan so uh, ang masasabi po namin dito napakaimportante po talaga dito na well there are a number of things that have to be in place one is that uh, there is 
an independent approving body. I'm now talking on general terms po, no? Hindi lang yung MRT3. Because we have seen cases until now. You were talking of a project many years ago. We have still projects uh, even with like uh, local projects po, some water projects uh, sp especially, where ang, ang reklamo ng mga water districts, yun na na tinitingnan ito nangyayari, eh, nawawalan ng, ng walang ano, walang oversight, walang independent body para suriin talaga anong, anong dadaanan na kontrata. So, uh, and yung pong nilalagay po sa kontrata, wala naman pong sinasabi ang batas na ganun, na ganun klaseng conditions ang ilalagay. No? So, lahat po to ay pag-uusapan ng nagpropose na implementing agency, aprobahan naman nung uh, approving body. Uh, dito po, uh, nangangailangan na meron talagang, tulad na rin po ng sinabi kanina ni Senator Pacquiao, na masusing uh, pag-aaral, pagsusuri, dun sa pinopropose na especially yung mga obligasyon ng ating gobyerno. No? Talaga bang dapat natin akuin yung mga obligasyon na yon? At lalo na kung merong katumbas na penalty, dapat ba natin kunin? No? Uh, so, marami hong paraan para i-structure ang isang contract para ma-accomplish ang objectives ng government. So, nasa malaking bagay po dyan ay yung mga nag approve at saka yung nasa implementing agency na nag-propose. What you propose is there should be an independent reviewing body hindi pwedeng purely local lang or uh, hindi pwedeng purely uh, uh, implementing agency. There should be an, an independent reviewing body. Uh -huh. uh, a body that is independent of who will implement. And uh -huh. who, who is this body? Uh, uh -huh. Right now, we have this, right? So fast forward po tayo sa present. No? So in, in the current setup, po, we have the, for BOT projects, we have the Investment Coordination Committee a cabinet cluster. So, mga cabinet secretaries po ito, headed by Secretary Dominguez. So, hindi po sila ang nag implement ng project. Ang, im ang implementation po ay with agencies like the OTR, with the PWH. At nakikita po namin, dahil ako po ay nakakaupo din doon sa mga meetings po nila, na-observahan ko na hindi lahat ng hinihingi ng implementing agency ay inaaprobahan ng approving body. So, meron po talaga ang check and balance na nangyayari between the two. This is the ICC NEDA. Oh, ang tawag po sa kanila is NEDA ICC. Okay. NEDA ICC. It's a committee po at NEDA. This is the, the uh, clearing house, the of, clearing mechanism for all of this type of, of, uh, of transactions. Of, of PPP project, BOT type, na more than 300 million pesos po ang halaga. Well, you know, just on that point, at 300 million, uh, Mr. Pixon, that practically covers all projects. 300 million pesos is for an infrastructure project is is a is, uh, small uh, medium to small size infrastructure. I mean uh -huh. what I'm driving at is mm -hmm. at that level almost all projects would go to the NEDA ICC and I do not know if that is a correct policy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So may I answer Yes please. Oh. Uh -huh. Yung pong uh, 300 million was set in law back in 1994 or 90, 94. So yung where the value of 300 million then uh, is, is much larger than what it is today, no? So isa po, yung, yung, yung punta po pala niya, I'm, I, I should apologize, yung tanong niyo po, uh, are we still following the same principles yung pinopose ng PPP Center before? Isa po to, uh, this is an example of uh, a, a policy that we are still pushing for. That things like yung thresholds for approval, uh, ilagay natin sa IRR dahil ko ilalagay natin sa batas, ang hirap ng baguhin, yung, tri, yung uh, nakaset na 300 million pesos hanggang ngayon, 300 million pa rin po. Naka, hindi na po siya relevant in today's uh, context. Either that or we provide some administrative flexibility so that you... Uh, you Opo. authorize the executive branch Opo. to set the threshold, which will be reviewed on a regular basis. Uh, th that's the way to do it. Uh, mali yung batas, uh, pinako tayo sa tatlong daang million. Uh, <laughs> isang sidewalk lang, 300 million na these days. <laughs> Thank you.
So you suggest ED to have that clearing house for to serve as a check and balance for It, contracts, no? Apo. Kasi I'm, I'm worried, like for example, this type of deals, talagang masasabi ko, sweetheart deal eh, no? Because we guarantee the ridership, meron pang government guarantee, and then, and yet we uh, bear all the headaches of operating and maintaining as we see right now, no? Um, uh, those are the things that I think we should uh, avoid, but from a from a policy standpoint, paano natin ma-avoid yung mga ganun na contracts, no? Because unsolicited proposals tend to favor the proponent. No? So how do we now have that uh, mechanism we're in uh, the implementing agency will not be tempted to favor uh, the offer of the proponent? No? So in, in that case, what, what can be done is to have a clearer set of, let's say, rules or policies on the kinds of obligations that we will allow government to take in. Uh, and to and if it's going to, for example, take in obligations, then kailangan ma justify. There has to be a valid reason for why, say, we would guarantee something. Otherwise, uh, we would ask back it. No. Uh, and and this is admittedly this is one of the things that uh, has to be dealt with. And. In, in fact, Senator, if I may, uh, mas malaking concern po ito pagdating po sa local projects. Dahil ma, at least yung po sa malalaking proyekto, nandiyan po ang NEDA. At kami po sa PPP Center, nakaka-participate kami sa evaluation. Pero pagdating po sa local projects, wala na hong ibang titingin. Kung hindi mismo mag approve din, sila, na ang, uh, sila rin ang susuri. And there you have a conflict of interest. Uh, just on that point, uh, Win. You mentioned about local government having the sole say in uh, local projects. Tama ba yan? According to the uh, dito? LGU code po natin, apo. According to? It, it's the autonomy granted to them under the right. LGU Now, code po. You are aware, and you just mentioned it, mm -hmm. that there will be considerations other than uh, public interest that prompts the decision of an LGU. That, that's, that's, that's accepted. It's possible. How do we guard against decisions or how, what is the remedy where we see that a decision of the LGU is uh, prompted or anchored on, on, on interest other than that of the public when an action on uh, locally Uh, local uh, unsolicited proposal is made. Anong remedy ng, uh, ng proponent? Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Senator, okay. So, um, it's, a, it's actually a very delicate uh, balance that we have to traverse uh, given that meron pong autonomy na ginagrant po sa local governments, but at the same time, there is the overarching Uh, need to, to protect public interest, whether it is a national project or a local project. Now, the situation we have today is each LGU can craft their own PPP code. They are not bound necessarily to the BOT law. In fact, uh, I would even say uh, that in, in terms of uh, PPP codes na, or at least PPP projects na nakikita namin among local governments, there is yung nga po, a very strong preference for the joint venture of the unsolicited type. No? And the way uh, they are able to do that, uh, kasi sabi natin, may BOT law, paano nila nagagawa yun, ay because it is a joint venture. And the BOT law today does not cover joint venture. So meron pong masasabi natin loophole. No? So, Because of the autonomy that they enjoy, then therefore they're free to put whatever they want. You know? And what we find a diverse set of PPP codes among LGUs. And this is something that we need to address. Uh, in fact, we are in our position paper, we have to decide whether we would keep the regulatory framework fragmented as it is, or we come up with a unified set of principles. Let me start with principles and perhaps even policies, but varying implementing rules. 
because implementing rules should be tailored to the needs of of the implementor then no so maring yung po ang compromise no isang set of principles i mean protect the public interest ensure that there is good governance ensure independence of approving bodies mga ganun but then when it comes now to how do we actually get it done dun po maaring magkaroon ng leeway yung autonomy na sinasabi natin no so 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 you, that is perhaps one way of addressing the the concern that you raise Mr. Senator. Good. So maybe when you submit your position paper and and pointing out uh, not only the provisions of the draft bill or the situations that you see out there which should be addressed, maybe you can in, we can include that uh, in the measure that will be reported out on the floor by the committee. Um, uh, so, have you have you eg actually examined the the bill spending here? Have you studied it in 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 fine in, in in detail? Uh, we 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 did that, Mr. Senator. Numpong uh, 17 Congress, uh, nilatag po namin sa isang malawak malaking spreadsheet lahat po ng mga nakasalang, and we we are going to do it again. Kasi kasasalang lam po ng mga mga files na kasama na rin po yung bill na naifile ni Senator Pacquiao. Uh, ang amin pong minumungkahi uh, is to already kick off yung technical working group ng committee and let, let uh, allow us to participate in the technical working group so we can start uh, doing the, the legwork. Uh, you, you draft trying uh, to, 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 me to, to move it faster. Uh, Submit your own draft, and then after that, we let our 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 staff go through it. If if and then if there is need for a discussion with you, we will do that. Or, but initiate initiate the proposed uh, overall uh, framework of the bill. Uh, submit it to our committee. My suggestion is submit it to us, and then after that, we can if the committee. If our chairman uh, finds need to sit down with you or your technical working group, then we will do so. Let to, f to move it faster. If, if I may, uh, Mr. Senator, dahil uh, part po kami ng executive branch, yung PPP Center, there is an ongoing work to craft a executive version of the of this bill. Which will, uh, after this is approved, is submit po sa, sa inyo. So, so there is an ongoing, ongoing study. It's, it's an ongoing process. In fact, there is a meeting scheduled, I think, for next week. Uh, sa infracom po. Yung, yung uh, body po na bumubuo po nito, yung infrastructure committee po okay. ng NEDA. Sige, eh, kung mayroong ganun, Mr. Chairman, hintayin na natin yung kanilang uh, pag-aaral because uh, that should make our job easier. Because if we play something that is not acceptable to the executive, baka mabito pa yan. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if, that is, uh, the, if that is a fact, uh, Mr. Pexon, that there is an ongoing effort to craft uh, an executive version of the bill, uh, I suggest we suspend the hearings here, wait for the executive version, and, uh, and call the hearing again once we receive their their version, uh, that's my submission, uh, Mr. Chairman. So, uh, what is your timeline to submit your uh, 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 proposed uh, proposal ng uh, dito sa committee? Anong anong ilang araw bago niyo masubmit para maaksyon ang kaagad natin ito? Maganda itong uh, PPP, uh, maganda itong uh, project na to. Kung talagang maganda lang natin pag mahimay natin ng gusto yung mga mga protection ng uh, bawat panic government and uh, private so uh, ganito po no uh, ang body po na bumubuo ng executive version yung pong infrastructure committee or infracom <coughs> ng NEDA so it's an interagency body po kasama po doon ang PPP center sa technical board po nito <coughs> so naka salang po na mag-meet ang Infracom October 9 
para hopefully ma-aprubahan na po itong executive version. October so 9. Maybe po. we will suspend it until the end of the month because anyway, wala kami by next week eh. We will be coming back already on November 4, so uh, we can, you have uh, a month to work on your proposal and submit it to us, and mm -hmm. we can call another hearing after November 4. Uh, Iri relay ko po sa infrastructure committee, ito pong instructions po ninyo. So be before you submit your, um, cope up your, uh, your uh, suggestion, yung, yung uh, position ninyo sa uh, bill na ito, uh, make sure lang na na itong uh, DOF, uh, DBM, DOG, uh, DILG, DT, DTI, and Office of the Executive Secretary, uh, which is part of the board uh, pag na, pag na, na, approve na naging batas itong uh, PPP na to, na hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema, especially processing papers, kasi ang pag-processing sa masyadong matagal eh, three, three years minimum yata, o two years ang minimum, so kung Sayang yung panahon eh. Kung uh, mga ganang mga project tas three years ka mag-pre-prepare, mag, mag uh, lahat siguro abutan ng bago mo implement mga five years. So, kung pwede natin, sayang yung mga panahon eh. Sayang kung, kung, kung pwede i-expedite natin yung uh, pag-process na isahan na lang, uh, how can we do that? Um, yan yung uh, ano natin. Siguro next hearing, uh, yun ang uh, i-resolve natin and then... Uh, and uh, yan yung pag-usapan natin na uh, paano solusyonan uh, kaya kailangan namin yung ano ninyo yung uh, uh, version ninyo uh, gagawin po namin yan uh, Mr. Senator ngayon if, gusto ko lang pong banggitin na uh, ang pinaka kumaga uh, meron kasunod ng kasunod, pagkatapos natin magawa po yung bill kasi meron pa po yung rule, implementing rules and regulations at doon po na define po yung some of those issues pertaining to uh, yung mga Kasama lengthy, yan, yung lengthy uh, processes. Kasama yan, yung mong IRR. Oh, doon po natin uh, tinutumbog po sa IRR. Oh. Oh, um, isama rin natin yan sa discussion dyan dahil uh, importante yung uh, IRR. Yun nga, dyan nagkakaproblema halos lahat. Uh, so importante po Mr. Senator na yung bill uh, would have provisions to enable Exactly. Yung mga IRR na sasagot doon po sa mga exactly. sinasabi Exactly, that's what nyo. I'm talking about. Um, and then, can, uh, can we uh, hear from, uh, of course, uh, they're going to be part of the board, magiging part sila ng board uh, from uh, DOF, uh, what is your uh, uh, opinion or suggestion for this uh, uh, proposed bill uh, about PPP? Um, Alfred, Alfredo Cerdon? Um, from the office, uh, uh, office of the executive secretary. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator Mani Pacquiao. Uh, I'm from the office of the president, the uh, legislative office. Uh, the office mandate is to review the enrolled bill passed by the Congress before the signing of the president. So, uh, as of now, with respect to the details of the proposed bill, uh, we prepare, we defer to the expertise of the concern agency, particularly the PPP Center and the NEDA. Uh, so, uh, uh, we, we review the bill or the enrolled bill uh, before the pr president signed it. Uh, so we are very thankful that we experience this kind of discussion, which is very helpful to our office when we review it, when this bill becomes an unenrolled bill. Yes, uh, that's why we ask you about your. Uh, you have uh, if you have any opinion about this bill before before we finalize everything. Baka mamaya pag nat naging bill na ito, tas may problema pala in par in in your part or uh, yung ibang uh, like like uh, DOF, DBM, DOJ, uh, DLJ. So to make sure na wala magiging problema, kailan eh, hingian ko narin yung panig niyo ano yung uh, ano yung position niyo if you uh, review this uh, bills na naka-file dito para magiging, para maayos ba? Hindi na tayo mag, pag naging batas na, babalik naman ulit dito dahil magkaroon ng amendment. So, dahil nagka-problema. So, may iwasan natin yun kasi it will take time uh, na pag ganun ang mga pangyayari. Da, matatagalan tayo lalo, di ba? Uh, just on your mic. Uh, thank you, sir. But uh, please, uh, 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 much of my desire to express my opinion 
but uh, I must uh, uh, to consider the position of the president. Okay. Because uh, in the long run, whatever the final version of this uh, of this bill, it is subject to the discretion of the president. So as of now, uh, please uh, uh, please uh, understand my position. I am not in the authority to express the official uh, position of the office of the president. Because uh, 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 our mandate. Uh, Kasama kay sa board eh, maging kasama kay sa board. So you might have, before we finalize this uh, bill, you might have uh, an idea that we don't know. Uh, and you can suggest right. eh, na, suggest uh, na pwede namin isali. Di ba? Yung mga yeah. ganyan kasi, yes, yes, sir. Uh, hindi namin sinasabi na mas magaling kami sa inyo o hindi okay. mas magaling uh, ang ibang tao. So, but pag marami, magsama-sama, uh, mas maganda. Diba? Yes, sir. Tama po, sir. Uh, tama po, Mr. Uh, Mr. Senato. Uh, but uh, ayoko pong itali ang kamay ng ating presidente pag nagbigay po ako ng opinion ngayong araw po. Yeah, yeah. In, not now, hmm. but uh, later on. Uh, yes, but um, we, uh, we, will, uh, we will communicate to my superior regarding your concerns, sir. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. And the part of uh, DTI. DTI. Asan yung mga taga DTI dito? DTI. Ayan na. Uh, uh, what Good afternoon, Sir Senator uh, uh, Leilani Del Prado. Del Prado. Actually, Le we are from the Philippine Domestic Construction Board, an attached agency of the Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines. Uh, yung pong ni-raise na issue kang Thank you, uh, Leilani. But before yeah. we continue, uh, I would like I to know. acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator uh, 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 Binay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Please uh, continue. Yeah. Uh, I, na, I, 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 yung comment po kanina about the LGUs na merong term na three years, nangyayari po talaga yung mga ganyan. So we have now in the Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines preparing a long-term roadmap, roadmap na extending sa 30-year plan. Maybe we should also include yung BOT plan Kasi hindi lang po yung mga regular GAA-funded projects ang dapat nakalagay dun sa roadmap, but also yung mga BOT projects or PPP projects kasi malaking chunk din ng, ng funds natin goes to the infrastructure projects of the government. So, sa amin po on our part sa DTI, Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines, yun po yung tinitignan namin. And of course, we look into yung quality of work sa construction. Sana po yung po yung nakikita natin na hindi lang yung, of course, benefit naman ng proponent yung importante doon sa magawa yung project, but we also would like to ensure yung quality of work. And we have a system for that yung what we call contractors performance evaluation system. We developed that system. We, all, we, could, we would like to to promote din sana sa PPP Center na sana ma-adapt din nila yung system na yan. Uh, we can also provide you some primer on that. Uh, we help government, LGUs, uh, SUCs, lahat po ng government on that matter. So yun po yung pwede lang namin pwedeng ma-contribute maybe on the part of sa DTI. Uh, I don't know, my colleague here is from PCAB sa licensing. Sergi, maybe you can also say something. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Okay, ano, sa, ano, Engineer uh, Sergi uh, uh, Ritome. Ritome. Yes. Uh, it comes to uh, licensing, naman, we issue naman special license to those contractors doing PPP projects. Kahit na 100% foreign sila, we we issue the special license for them to construct that particular project. Mm, okay. Uh, Mr. Gatsalian is recognized. Mr. Chair, uh, with your kind indulgence, no, um, I would like to go back to E.D. Pexon because I was going through the bills. E.D., you know, the common criticism for PPP is that it's very slow. Matagal, no, to do the feasibility study, to do the legal uh, framework, the legal documents takes years. No? And when you do the construct, when you undertake the actual construction, it will again take many, many years. No? That's why during the onset of this administration, they decided to 
shift policies and go into a hybrid, no? ODA plus ONM. No? Um, I was going through the bills. No? Ano po ang masasuggest nyo to cut time? Because the, the common criticism of for PPP is really masyado siyang bureaucratic at mahaba yung time. In, a, uh, in our political cycle, wherein the president only sits for six years, no, if you're talking about, sabi nga ni Chairman, three years pa lang sa dokumento, eh kalahating taon, wala pa siyang nauumpisahan. No? In fact, a lot of the construction that we are seeing right now are fruits of the previous administration. No? The North-South uh, North Connector Road, the Skyway 3, the Index, all of these are fruits during the previous administration. So can you give us uh, uh, your suggestion on how to cut time? No? Uh, three years is definitely not feasible for any administration because that's already half of the term. But tinitignan ko dito kung saan uh, parang wala akong wala akong nakita sa mga provisions that will improve the timetable of launching a PPP program. Before you answer that, uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator uh, Marcos. Um, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair and uh, Senator Gachalian. By the way, magandang hapon po, uh, Senator Amy Marcos and Senator Binay. Um, yung pong uh, question of how we can compress time, a lot of it has to do with how we actually implement, how we carry out the various processes that need to happen. And uh, we have... We don't have too, a lot of examples to illustrate how time can be compressed, but let me cite the example of the Clark expansion and also the operation and maintenance. So uh, the president of BCDA, uh, Mr. Vince Dixon, has, has said in the past that, you know, in Clark Airport, before we stepped in, para bang natutulog na lang siya, hindi na malaman ko ano mangyayari, uh, because it's been there since uh, past administrations, pero hindi natutuloy. At as soon as they stepped in and got the process moving, and I could even tell you some inside uh, anecdotes, meaning because we were actually monitoring how we're they were doing it, they were practically working 24 by 7 to get the work done. So that means tinutukan nila even on weekends, uh, and in we were there in part of the process. So that means you have an implementing agency that is that is very very determined. You have a leadership that is very very that empowers his team to make decisions as quickly as possible, and that really tremendously helped in getting the 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 project uh, off the ground in in a shorter time compared with other other projects. ED, we're reliant on that personality. No? Uh, not all secretaries or undersecretaries are of the same tenacity. No? And we cannot uh, rely on a person's personality to push PPP. Uh, my, my worry here, no, if we're institutionalizing a bureaucratic process, no? it's already bureaucratic as we speak, but with, with, without uh, including reforms in the bill, we might be institutionalizing bu a bureaucratic process. Walang nagbago meaning it will take three years for paperwork. So my, my point is, um, I would like to, uh, later on, no, when, when you come back, is to suggest and look at the timetable on how you implement PPP projects. Um, and look look at, uh, tingnan natin timetable, tingnan natin process, and let's cure the, bureau the bureaucracy in the bill. Uh, kasi kung hindi natin papalitan ho yan, we might be just uh, institutionalizing a very bureaucratic process. No? Wala ho nangyari. No? Ang gusto ho natin, umiksi yung time frame. Eh. In fact, I had a radical, uh, I discussed this with you, ED, I had a radical suggestion. Eh, bigyan na lang natin ng power ang PPP Center mag-undertake ng PPP projects. No? Para mabilis. Diba? Isa lang ang kausap. Eh, this is a out-of-the-box uh, idea. No? But again, subject to, of course, debates. But my point is really, let's shorten the process. No? Because... Let's, we have to consider that the time frame is only six years no, for any administration. If we can cut down the process to one year, one and a half, at least by six years, makikita niya yung kanyang mga vision. No? And that's a suggestion that we can discuss later on when we come back. No? 
I agree with your uh, suggestion, uh, Senator Gatsalya, na i-doon uh, i i-bigay uh, uh, yung power doon sa PPP Center, yung magiging ano natin. Dahil total, ang mga board members naman ito, yung mga kasama sa board is uh, DOF, DBM, DOJ, DILJ, DTI, and Office of the Executive Secretary. So, wala magiging problema para mas, mas lalo natin mapabilis yung uh, proseso ng isang uh, project. Eh, you said... Uh, you have a research evaluation and before the after that uh, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, uh, matibay na, na, na implementation ng uh, proyekto. Well, well, ang masasabi pa na we are of course open to what uh, our senators uh, would, would, would suggest. Uh, but may I just uh, correct something po. Yung pong PPP Center is, uh, is attached to NEDA. Uh, hindi po hindi po miyembro ang DOF o tsaka yung ibang ahensya na nabanggit nyo kanina. So kami po ay nakikipag uh, tulungan sa kanila para so we work together as a team but uh, we don't actually oversee them po. So there is a team of uh, agencies uh, that appraise projects uh, which we call the ICC Technical Board. Y yung binanggit ko uh, yung sa board uh, po. Uh, yung uh, governing board uh, ng PPP, uh, sila magiging uh, kasali sa board. Oh. Yung uh, governing board naman po, yun po ay policy making. So, hindi po, hindi po siya para sa approval ng projects. Hindi nga, what I'm talking about is, uh, uh, nandyan sila na alam nila yung project. Halimba, hindi na pwede sabihin na hindi namin alam yung project na yan. Hindi namin, oh. So, uh, at least dadaan sa kanila at uh, aware sila na may project na ganon. Oh. Mr. Chair? Uh, Senator uh, uh, Binay is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, ED, um, under the... Noong time mo ba ni GMA, meron ng PPP projects? Meron na po, kasi nung 1990 po po yung BOT law. Ah. So, inabutan na po siya. Sige, under GMA, ho, ilan yung na-approve na PPP? Wala po akong reading answer, pero I, if I am not mistaken, yung pong MR, teka, MRT3 ata, panahon ni President Ramos. And then, umab ano ba umabot? Ang umabot kay, kay President GMA, I think yung Naiya Terminal 3 project. Kasi so yung Naiya Terminal 3, PPP. Yata, yata. PPP. Oh. Pa pasensya na po, Senator. Hindi Sige, po, maybe you can just submit uh -huh. to the committee. But nung time mo ni Presidente Aquino, Noynoy, because I think during the term of uh, President Noynoy, naging ano niya ito eh, parang part ng kanyang flagship is the concept of PPP. Under, dum po, under, dumami po ang mga PPP uh -huh, projects. Under his presidency, uh -huh. ilan ho yung... Kasama na, na po dyan yung Mactan Cebu International Airport, yung NAIAX, yung pong uh, beep card system na ginagamit po natin sa, sa mga tren, uh, yung pong mga dalawang projects ng DepEd, mga school buildings po, Phase 1 and Phase 2. Uh, ano pa ba yung mga iba pang? Uh -huh. Meron po, maibibigay po namin and yung listahan po sa inyo at and then under the po ano, namin yung uh, term of President Duterte, ilan na ho yung na-approve na PPP? Uh, so, yung pong Clark Airport, yung pong uh, Bulacan, o oh, yung New Manila International Airport uh, na ilalagay sa Bulacan. Meron po mga... Nakas yung ba yung term niya dun sa Bulacan, New Manila? Oh, new Ma <laughs> Para nakaka-confuse ata yung naming nyo. Why oh. don't we just name it na Bulacan? Kasi pag sinabi nyo yung New Manila, it might create the perception na it's in Quezon City mm -hmm. or somewhere in Metro Manila. Oh. So, yun po yung mga sa national projects po. No? Ngayon, yun naman po mga local projects na public-private partnerships din, yun po ay marami din. So, what we're trying to do now is, is to collect uh, documents and, and in fact, uh, we have the role of monitoring these projects, but uh, <coughs> we, have, we have to go to the LGUs once, once we get to know that they are having these projects. So. Can you just submit to the committee? Po, ay so, lumalabas so, yung mga LGU-initiated na PPP yung or joint ventures, hindi muna ho sila dumadaan sa office nyo. Hindi Parang kayo pa yung kailangan 
okay. lumapit sa kanila. Oh, okay. sa mo- Assuming nito, na malaman nyo na uh-huh. the, that uh, agreement yung exists. Pagdating po sa mga... De- depende po. Ngayon po, kal- bago po ako pumunta dito kanina sa meeting po na ito, nagpirmahan po kami ng uh, MOA ng Rojas Isabela. At kailan lang nagpirmahan po kami ng uh, MOA din sa... Sa or, with Ormoc later kay Mayor Richard Gomez and then Mayor of Marikina also and so on. So what are these MOAs? This is where the PPP Center then gets actively involved sa development pa lang nung project. So that's an assistance that we provide. Uh, so we seek out LGUs that need this kind of assistance and if they s- say they need the assistance, we provide the assistance. Now, Pinag-uusapan po natin yung mga na projects during time ni GMA or giant time po ni Pinoy. Uh, yung po ngayon ang yung mga na-implement na, yung po ngayon ang tinitingnan namin, uh, kumbaga post-mortem na lang uh, para ma- ma-monitor din po namin ang mga naging accomplishments po nito. Doon sa mga LGU, um, parang ano, wala rin kayo regulatory na you, you can say, kunyari, For example, itong LG na to, yung pinasok ng PPP is um, disadvantageous or wala ko kayong say over that. Uh, uh, kumbaga post, ano na lang, pagka nakita po namin yung kontrata and re-reviewin po namin yung contract, then we give a feedback po dun sa LGU. Hanggang feedback lang ho, wala ko kayong ah, wala wala kaming kaming say to wala say kaming, na parang uh, ay, wala ko kaming you have to Uh, uh-huh. review yung terms of reference uh-huh. or whatever. Wala ko kayong ganong ngipin over LGU. Wala ko kaming ganong ngipin po sa para makontrol po yung ginagawa ng LGU. Wala po. Do you think you should have one? Uh, we were talking about this issue of yung nga po, we, on the one hand, meron pong autonomy na ina-enjoy ang mga local governments. But on the other hand, they are still part of the executive branch. So, kung gusto kong isipin na dapat isang team lang kami no and and therefore it is within the the president also to set the rules for how we would relate to one another so yung pong masasabi ko po doon sa sa concern na yon na uh, we are also hoping that we could uh, right now we are just trying our best to to influence them and let them see different uh, uh, ways of i mean the things that they have to consider before they approve a contract but hanggang doon lang po if it's really their decision what 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 uh, what to sign on to thank you mr chair uh, thank you uh, senator uh, uh, binay um ito importante ito ilang project na ba ang na-implement ng uh, uh, PPP uh, na 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 yung katulad ng ginamo yung uh, partnership Uh, PPP project na na-implementa, katulad yung minention mo kanina, di ba ang dami na? Marami na, di ba? Meron na pong, uh, mula na naipasa po ang BOT law noong 1990, meron na po sa aming listahan, no, which is not uh, complete dahil kinikolekta pa po namin yung, yung mga ibang dokumento, meron na po kaming na italang mga uh, 87 projects. 87, 87? BOT, 87? Okay, BOT okay. projects. At mga joint ventures naman po, 42. Pero again, hindi po kumpletong, kum, ga, ga, hindi po kumpleto. Ga, ganito kasi yan, ang, ang ano dyan, importante dito sa i-create natin, na kung meron tayong research evaluation before we enter into agreement, before we implement the project, we have research evaluation. And after that, since uh, ang dami nang na-implement na uh, uh, PPP, um, we should have... Uh, Uh, like uh, impact evaluation. Okay? Impact evaluation. Para mag, pag, pag nag, 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 gumagawa tayo ng impact evaluation, nakikita natin yung problema. Di ba? Diba, step by step, nakikita natin yung problema if we are conducting impact evaluation about the project. So, yun ang pinaka-importante para lahat ng mga mali, may kumbaya tama natin because we, we are conducting, conducting a uh, uh, impact ev- evaluation. Kung ano yung maging problema, ito ba, ay, ano, yun yung importante dito sa, sa, ano na to, sa uh, PPP na to. Tama po kayo, Mr. Senator. In fact, yun po ang isa sa maari ipaloob po natin dun sa bill na, na magampanan ito pong bagay na sinasabi po ninyo. Uh, sa ngayon po, ang PPP Center, because of our monitoring function, we are able to uh, review ito pong mga nakaraang mga contracts. 
And like I said before, nagbibigay po kami ng feedback dun po dun sa concern implementing uh, agency. And also, pagdating po sa mga bagong proyekto, nagagamit po namin yung mga lessons from other projects para matulungan naman po yung uh, mga ahensya na makapulot ng lessons po dun sa mga nakaraang projects. So, through our work, uh, monitoring... So, ngayon, you are not uh, conducting... Um, impact evaluation? Uh, to a certain extent, ginagawa po namin. Pero I believe, as you are saying, that this is something that should be institutionalized. Institutionalized yes. in the form of having a appropriate provision po sa, sa ating bill po. Kasi ganun yan eh. Uh, research evaluation and then after uh, implementing, uh, mag-ano ka ng uh, research pa rin, research sa uh, impact evaluation naman yon Kung anong, anong kulang dito, anong pa, para lalong gumanda, after uh, how many projects, ma-perfect natin yung uh, PPP. Di ba? Oh, okay. So, yun yung paano natin. Papagandahin natin itong uh, napagaganda nito. Uh, especially, uh, kailangan natin ng uh, mga investor din, mga private na maging partner sa government. Uh, maganda ito. Kaya nga, hinihingan ko ng panig yung, ano, yung opinion ng bawat isa para baka uh, you might have uh, an idea na hindi namin alam na pwede nating uh, magamit o oh, no uh, ma-insert ma doon sa sa batas na gagawin natin about PPP. Uh, Senator uh, Marcos uh, uh, is recognized. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Siyempre full support tayo rito dahil talagang napakadalang, napakabagal ng ating PPP. Ako yung chair ng Economic Affairs at uh, inatasan yung aming uh, committee na magbigay ng mga amend amendments para sa ating uh, Foreign Investment Act at iba pang mga uh, batas na kinakailangan ng updating upang uh, magkaroon tayo ng mas maraming perang galing sa labas. Subalit, eto nga, nalilito sa ako dito sa ilang version, tatlong version dito na nasa ating ngayon, ano? yung uh, iba't ibang version ng uh, bill na ito. Kaya ta Itatanong ko sana kung ano yung posisyon ng DOF. May DOF po ba rito? Uh, uh, siguro tatanong, ay, ayan pala yung DOF natin. Dahil uh, makikita natin na yung dalawang bill ni Senator Di Ronti, Senator Pacquiao, ay nagsasaad na kinakailangan daw bigyan ng exemption sa transfer taxes at saka meron rin investment incentive under BOI. Given that the position of the government to date is to Ika nga, rationalize, pero magandang salita para tanggalin. Ang ibang mga buwis at tax incentives, uh, sangayon ba ang DOF na ito ay maging exemption doon sa uh, pangkalahatang uto sa amin na wag na magbibigay ng anuman tax break o incentives o at, uh, uh, at iba pang mga um, uh, tax exemption? Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Madam Senator, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, well, first, uh, we are from the Bureau of the Treasury, uh, and our mandate is actually on the management of funds. Uh, these uh, bills, the involved ganun, bills, were um, Can I just make it off record? I just like to uh, find out na lang. Itatanong lang natin sa mga nauukol, yung tanong nga kung uh, ano ang uh, posisyon ng DOF hinggil sa mga bill na ito na nagbibigay ng exemption or uh, nagbabawas ng mga buwis na pinapataw sa pagtatransfer at investment incentive, kung papayag ba yung DOF ba dyan o hindi sila sangayon dyan. Papatanong na lang, mag-submit na lang po kayo ng posisyon para maliwanag po sa amin. Noted po, uh, Madam Senator. Uh, I also have uh, a level of confusion with regard to the penal provisions. Um, Contained, I think, in uh, Senator Drillon's. Meron kasi rito yung uh, sa SBN 15, eh, may penal provision. Kasi, papano ito, magko-conflict ba ito, magdu-duplicate sa procurement law, sa RA 9184? May DBM po rito? Or uh, someone else uh, involved with the government procurement? ay hindi dumating. Pwede siguro itanong na lang po natin yung uh, chairman, kung papayag yung chairman natin, o yung uh, ating uh, committee secretary. Papano sa tingin ng DBM, uh, meron bang conflict yung uh, proposed bill ni Senator Drillon na may penal provision 
dahil mag i sa procurement law, alin ba yung imprisonment, 6 to 15 years, as opposed to 3 to 6 years for falsification of documents sa ilalim ng uh, uh, Senate Bill 15 ni uh, Senate President, uh, ni, ni Minority Leader Jalon. Noted, uh, Senator um, uh, Marcos, with your uh, uh, questions. Okay. Doon sa ano sa yung uh, marami tayong uh, uh, PPP project na nagka problema, di ba? Marami, di ba? Marami tayo. Oh, mayroon din. Kaya tayo nagka problema doon dahil hindi naman yung mga PPP project na nagka problema, hindi yun ang ang unang project, di ba? Marami ng project na na-implement. Pero kung yung napaka-importante talaga yung sinasabi ko kanina ng impact evaluation. Kasi once we conducted impact evaluation, next project, hindi na mangyayari, hindi, hindi, hindi tayo magkakamali. Mapiperfect natin yung lahat ng mga kulang. ba Yung mga pagkakamali natin. Pero kung implement and implement, partner and partner, tas implement and implement, walang impact evaluation, ah, sugod tayo ng sugod para tayong uh, sumusuntok na nakapikit yung mata natin. Hindi tayo tumatama. ba Kailangan na uh, Mayroon tayong uh, uh, impact evaluation. Kung may research evaluation, dapat impact evaluation para kung nagkamali tayo dito sa unang project to, next project, hindi natin magkakamali. Because we conducted impact evaluation. Very important yan. I'm sorry, yan yung nakatutulan ko sa teacher ko eh, uh, sa, sa business management. <laughs> Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, pwede po bang ano, mag-site ng examples ng PPP na hindi siya naging successful. Uh, can you give us uh, an, um, ano yung mga PPP na nagka-problema, nagka-problema tayo? Um, well, uh, sasagutin ko po yung pero gusto ko lang pundugtungan yung sinabi rin nyo rin po, Senator, kanina. No? Yung uh, impact evaluation na, na sinasabi po natin ay actually dalawang bagay po ang aming tinitingnan. Hindi lang yung problema, kundi yung mga magagandang nangyari. Before you continue, ha? Uh -huh. Kasi sinasabi ko yun, kasi impact evaluation, katulad ng aliba, natalo ako sa, sa, sa fight ko. Mm -hmm. Ano ba pagkakamali ko? Bakit natalo ako? Mm -hmm. Natalo ako kasi kinapos ako ng hangin. So, next fight ko, kailangan ko mag-insayo ng tudo kasi kailang hindi hindi ako mag magkapos sa hangin dahil uh -huh. natalo ako nung nakaraan dahil kapos ako sa hangin. Kailangan 100% yung condition ko. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ko sa an example of that uh, this uh, Impact evaluation. Yun ang sinabi ko in terms of uh, project, implementing the project. Kung ano yung mali, napiperfect natin na, na natatama natin. M mahira po ata kayong matalo, Senador. <laughs> uh, well, sorry po. Uh, nagbiru lang po ako. Pero um, yun nga po yung sasabihin ko na hindi lang po yung ano yung naging problema. Ano rin yung naging magandang nangyari para matutunan din ng, ng ibang uh, proyekto. Kasi Sa in anything, meron mga naging problema, meron din mga mabubuting bagay na mapupulot din para, para matuto rin yung ibang proyekto. Iba kasi yung uh, mayroon tayong impact evaluation, may record tayo. And then pag may nagpo-propose ng, ng project, we oh, i-repair natin doon sa based on our uh, impact evaluation of this project, we blah, 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 like that, and then makorek natin lahat, di ba? Please, please. Siguro po ang isang babanggitin ko po na... Uh, medyo nalalaman ng karamihan na isang PPP project na actually hindi natuloy ay yung pong uh, modernization ng orthopedic uh, hospital uh, na nagnanais na magtayo ng isang bagong modernong hospital para ma-address po yung uh, pangangailangan ng mga pasyente na, na masyado sila matagal na bago gumaling o kaya uh, kinakapos sa gamot yung hospital uh, and so on, kulang yung facilities and so on and so forth. And uh, supposedly magkakaroon po ng PP project pero hindi po natuloy. So marami pong lessons na mapupulot po tungkol dun sa project po na yun and is siguro magbanggit lang po ako ng ilan. Ang isa po dun ay yung importante po magkaroon po ng isang champion ang isang project na talagang ipaglalaban niya yung proyekto. So, nagkaroon po ng change sa uh, leadership sa DOH. So, yung champion po ng PPP 
uh, pinalitan pero yung pumalit hindi siya ganun I would say na ganun ka kapursigido na maitulak po yung project it also ran into uh, issues in terms of uh, opposition no from especially uh, affected employees uh, we could have managed better yung communication aspect dahil yung nawala dun sa diskusyon yung mga beneficyo makakamit sa proyekto eh, dahil magkakaroon na ng uh, dati wala yung para ma-address yung problema let's say sa tuho dati operasyon ang sagot meron ng mga bagong teknolohiya na may insert na lang na probe para makita talaga anong best way to to let's say repair a a torn cartilage or, or mga ganun pong bagay so maglalagay po sana ng bagong equipo para dun sa mga ganung mas modern na procedure. So, sa sa nawala yung nawala doon sa karamihan ng discussion yung ano ba talaga ang dahilan bakit natin gusto yung proyekto. So, uh, tulad po ng sinabi niyo senator, yung how can we make sure na hindi masayang yung effort natin, no? Pwede sinuri natin maigi, pinag-aralan natin maigi tapos ihinto, hindi na itutuloy. Uh -huh. Idi, Pero meron din pong ito mga... Ito bang kaliwa, Dam? Di ba originally PPP and then it was shift to originally a PPP project po. Pero ngayon po ay isang ODA na po ng... Kasi Fitchana. nagka-problema din huwa dun sa PPP or was it just a policy... Ito po, it's just a decision... Policy na, direction uh, policy di to apo. shift to apo. ODA. Apo. Wow. Pero kung maaari ko rin pong idugto, kung may, sabi ko nga kung mayroong problema, mayroon din mga magandang nangyari. So yun, na IAX, for example, it used to take us hours and hours to get from terminal either one, two, or three uh, para makauwi, you know? But now, ang bilis na ho natin nakakatraverse dito sa na IAX. So, that's a, a good example of a project na marami tayong mapupulot na ano, na, na, na pangmodelo para sa ibang proyekto naman. Oh, pero, pero may pagkukulan lang ho dun sa na IAX ngayon. Dapat ata tinaasan palalo yung bridge. Kasi ngayon ho, nagiging bottleneck na yung um, Kung galing kang Magallanes, kasi parang ang lapit nung kung saan ka mag -ra right turn. I guess, design-wise, dapat po. Oh. Medyo siguro. masikip po talaga yung paglalatagan nung expressway. Oh, parang yun medyo may pagkukulang ng konti pagdating dun sa design nung na IAX. Siguro ko dun sa Kaliwadam, you can just submit to the committee yung um, position nyo was it advantageous for us to shift to ODA or to retain it na PPP? Uh, yung ODA po kasi is, uh, is something that we don't, the PPP Center po, no? kung ako po yung tinatanong niya as PPP Center, uh, hindi po kami involved dun sa ODA. Pero kami naman po, ang sinasabi namin, pagka kami na itatanong ano ba ang tingin niyo sa ODA versus PPP, no, para sa amin naman po, uh, hanapin natin talaga kung ano mas mga kabuti sa atin. Uh, not necessarily na it's always PPP ang, ang dapat gawin and vice versa. Hindi naman po lagi na ODA. So, uh, at ngayon po, sa, ang nangyayari po, more and more ang nangyayari po, yung kinukombine po, yung the best of both worlds. So, if we can get uh, cheaper financing, but at the same time, harness the private sector, dun sa, sa project, why not? No? So, yun po rin ang isang evolving uh, trend po ngayon pagdating sa infrastructure na we are trying to tap various uh, financing schemes to optimize po yung financing arrangement. But still doing it through, especially the operation and maintenance through a public-private partnership. Uh, thank you, um uh, let me ask the uh, DPWH, uh, ano, yung, ano yung mga project na nasa inyo na under ninyo sa PPP? Uh, uh, Mr. J, good afternoon po, Honorable uh, Madam Senators and Senator Sir. Uh, with regards to the PPP projects po natin, uh, kami po yung nag-handle nung NAIA Expressway, the DPWH po. Mm -hmm. Number two po, meron din po tayo yung tinatawag po nating T-Plex. Na ngayon po, pagpupunta po tayo ng bagay, if we're going to Baguio, Ando na po tayo sa bandang po Surubio. Ah. Di po ma. Uh, kasi from SC Tex, you traverse T-Plex. And then, uh, la, ang huli po na, na rota natin doon na tol, east po Surubio. And we are anticipating to, uh, we're targeting to open another uh, an additional 10 kilometers to bypass the National Highway, which is the, uh, yung pong dulo ng Rosario. 
So, bubuksan na po natin yun. We're targeting uh, uh, this uh, December or maybe first quarter po next year. Mapapabilis na. Yes po, sir. Another 10 kilometers na naman po yun. That's a PPP project. Mga 20 minutes yun. Masave. Yes. And uh, another one, we also have an ongoing project. Uh, PPP is the Calax, the Cavite Laguna Expressway po. Ito po yung manggagaling po tayo ng uh, SLEX. You want to go to somewhere in uh, Tagaytay, uh, from SLEX, pwede instead na mag-exit uh, ka po ng uh, Santa Rosa or sometimes you go to Eton kasi traffic sa Santa Rosa, dito lang po sa Mamplasan, you can take the Mamplasan and take the Calax. Initially, uh, this is around 45 kilometers. The Laguna side, mga labing walong kilometro po ito. And then the Cavite side, around 27. Mm. But we're targeting to open uh, by this October hanggang dito po sa may yung uh, special action force po sa Santa Rosa. Sampung kilometro po yun. Ibig sabihin po, if you want to go to Dagaytay by uh, November, take from SDEX, take Mang Plasan, and then pwede ka na po lumabas doon sa Santa Rosa interchange namin. Nabaypass nyo na po yung Santa Rosa and Eton. Sampung kilometro onward to Tagaytay. Okay, that's, that's within the year, maybe uh, this October. Pero yung bu buong alignment po, hanggang doon, kasi po ang, uh, ang Calax natin will come from Mang Plasan onward to Cavitex in Ilang R1. Ilang taon matapos yan? We're targeting po ng 2021, but Sec Mark Villar is uh, pushing us to finish within 2020. Ah, uh, okay. Opo, Pero uh, 2021 matatapos? Yes po, uh, by uh, as per concession agreement, yung po ang tie-up natin sa concession. At marami pa po tayo rito ng uh, ongoing projects. Although some na minamanage po natin na uh, part ng PPP monitoring, yung mga NLEX, SLEX connector, and then the uh, uh, itong Skyway Stage 3, and uh, newly opened uh, segment 10 po, nung, uh, yung uh, North Link po natin. As well, in addition with those, medyo pinagugulong po natin sa NEDA ngayon yung mga ibang proposed projects natin, we have the T-Plex extension. Di po ba nabanggit ko kanina, uh, by uh, next year or maybe end of the year, mabubuksan po natin yung Rosario in T-Plex. Meron po kasing proposal to. This is an unsolicited proposal that will continue the alignment of T-Plex, ang tawag po natin T-Plex extension, mm. onward to San Juan La Union, sir. Ah, okay. So that's a good uh, positioning po ng mga PPP projects yes. natin. And also, there are other one. There is other one na yung tinatawag po natin nga City Bex, yung Cavite, Tagaytay, Batangas Expressway, that will continue uh, yung silang interchange po ng ating Calax. Ito po, mag, mm. mag, uh, magdudukdong nung silang onward to Nasugbu. These are the PPV projects that the DPWH is positioning. Plus, yung nabanggit po ni Madam Senator Binay na parang medyo nababababaan po siya sa NAIA X. Actually, nabansin din po yun na aming sekretary. And uh, we, uh, we are proposing a continuity of NAIA X na, kumbaga, pag nadong from dito ka po galing sa Makapagal side, Mataas di po na. ba, paakyat ka. <laughs> eh, naba, kung if you want to go to global, pumunta ka po kay Magallanes, eh, uh, mm. Mr. Chair. Ang gusto po ni Sekretary, idiretso po namin yon. So we're on ah, the way of studying. Na from the IA X, tatawirin po natin yung uh, uh, SLEX na yon. And then from the SLEX, magkocombine, bababa po rin sa kabila sa Loton, onward to global. That's uh, we're already in NEDA about uh, that uh, positioning of PPP alignment. Good news. Thank oh, you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. E, um, halos lahat ng project natin ngayon ay sa ano na, uh, PPP na. Ano? Lahat los lalos lahat kasi especially yung mga malalaking project natin. So kailangan 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 natin itong uh, bill na to, itong magiging batas ito dahil uh, on, especially I'm thinking na within uh, five years sa pag-implement pag sa pag-operate ng isang project ng uh, PPP, ilagay natin dito sa batas na to na magkakaroon ng uh, research uh, impact evaluation. Impact evaluation within five years every year magkakaroon ng impact evaluation until five years para alam natin kung ano yung magiging nagiging mali natin, ano yung matama natin. Like I said, uh, most of the projects now na, na ini-implement ay eh, uh, PPP. Uh, alam naman natin na kasi kailangan yan. Kailangan ng uh, government na may kapartner dahil uh, ang, ang government natin, uh, maliit lang ang income. Mm, so tulungan natin yung uh, pamahalaan natin para hindi maghirap yung mga tao. Yung, yung paghihirap ng government natin ay eh, paghihirap din ng taong bayan. So, yun yung, yung kapakanan. So, mapaganda natin, hindi tayo papaulit-ulit ng trabaho, paulit-ulit, ilang bisis na nating uh, pinag-usapan, and then ganun pa rin ang problema, ilang decades, dekada ng uh, lumipas, ganun pa rin ang problema, um, itama natin na ba sa bawat pag 
pag-uusap natin sa bawat hearing na gagawin natin, kailangan may implementation tayo na tama, may ma mga correction tayo na maikorek natin na tama. Kasi kung ganito tayo palagi, problema ang pinag-uusapan and then walang nangyayari, eh mula noon hanggang ngayon, nagbihiring tayo dito eh. Pero kung wala namang uh, common sense sa, sa, sa pagdating sa pag-implement, walang, uh, walang uh, hindi ginagamit yung utak, eh alang mangyayari pag ganito kung sa Batangas alang mangyayari pag ganyan ng ang ano natin so kailangan kung ano yung napag-usapan natin yung magandang uh, kaya nga tinatanong natin yung uh, magiging part ng uh, 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 PPP governing board na uh, especially uh, DOF, DBM, DOJ, DLJ, DDI in office of the executive secretary um, kailangan din natin yung opinion niya suggestion nila uh, kung may may isa suggest kayo para dito sa 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 magiging uh, sa batas na gagawin natin so uh, to DPWH sa uh, PPP projects in uh, Mindanao um meron ba sa Mindanao uh, for the meantime mga proposal pa lang po sir uh, ah, we want pa. to go with the pagtulad po ng ating Davao si Digos gusto po namin sana isama sa pag-aaral sa susunod siguro mag magpo-propose din ako para uh, para maging matagos na doon sa Jeans uh, uh, Digos to Jensen to uh, Cotabato para maikot na kasi wala doon eh na, na pag-iwanan niya eh di ba region 12 to Jensen uh, to ano uh, can you uh, include that to your uh, plan para <laughs> hindi nakasali yung ano pwede, yung pwede yung uh, region 12 ko hindi kasali eh dapat uh, Uh, from Digos to Jinsan, para paikot siya, Jinsan to uh, Cotabato, uh, Maguindanao, Cotabato, uh, ganun. Uh, yes. Can you include that to your uh, plan? Uh, yeah, yes, Mr. Chair. Actually, Mr. Chair, ganito eh. In, on the part of uh, doing the study, ang ginagawa po ng departamento ngayon, especially DPWH, beforehand nga po kasi nabanggit ko na to dati, uh, dati uh, medyo nakadivide pa po yung ating uh, study kasi ang PPP project din alam financially viable po siya eh. Beforehand, nakahiwalay yung feasibility study and nakahiwalay yung financial viability niya. But now we combine everything. And it is not automatic naman po na pag inaral namin yan, eh automatically just PPP. Kung halimbawa po, katulad po yung nabanggit yung section, Mr. Chair, na yung, yung sa Dabao in Mindanao, at sasabihin niyo pong aralin natin, hindi naman automatically ma PPP pa siya eh. Hindi po masasayang yung study because study is there. If that is a economically viable but for the meantime not financially viable, pwede po yan ma-ODA or ma-GAA. Yung po ang effect nun, Mr. Chair. Eh. Mm, It's not okay. automatic na inaral po namin siya targeting PPP, doing the feasibility in the financial. Dalawang bagay, Mr. Chair. Uh, if, if siya eh, economically viable, pagkatapos hindi siya financial viable, there is a chance for the government to participate, eh, magkaroon ng subsidy. Pero kung ayaw po natin doon, let's check with the GAA kung meron po tayong pondo, mm. or let's uh, have an inquiry to other lending institutions kung pwede nilang i-cover. Yeah, so, yeah, ganun po ang, ang ano, Mr. Yeah, yan ang sinasabi ko nila, uh, may research sa uh, evaluation. Uh, di ba, research evaluation. So, uh, by the way, uh, marami pa tayong dapat pag-usapan, but uh, ang oras natin, anong oras na ba? <laughs> Baka, <laughs> mag maghihiring na, ah, mag session na kami. Uh, anyway, in the next hearing, uh, mapainalize natin lahat or uh, sa TWG, mapag-usapan natin lahat ng uh, uh, kulang tulad nung um, uh, comment o yung uh, yung binanggit ko kanina, pwede silang magbigay ng opinion o comment uh, about the uh, about the uh, uh, this uh, bill Uh, from the DOF, DBM, DOJ, DLG, DTI, and Office of the Secu uh, Executive Secretary. Uh, si si Mr. Chair, before we end, last question na lang. Edy, yung Makati Subway ba, na-review na nyo yung PP cont PPP contract? Uh, hindi po dumaan sa PPP Center, pero nakikipag-coordinate po kami sa City of Makati. Uh, in fact, we had offered our assistance po and sa kanila. They have not, but so, they've ac accepted your offer. Ay, hindi pa ho. Hindi pa ho. Ay, hindi pa. So, hindi nyo pa nakikita yung pero uumpisahan na yung project na yun eh. So, so, so actually, we, we were asking for a copy of the contract para ma, ma review din namin. So, pending pa ho yung ano, submission nila. So, wala pa? Wala pa ho. Hindi nyo pa nakikita. And then, um, siguro, I don't know which agency. Wala ko bang, ay, baka DPWH. Kasi di ba, na-mention niya nga, for example, isang road project. May different modes on how to finance. Pwedeng GAA, pwedeng PP, PPP, pwedeng ODA. Who, sino nagbe-vet neto? 
Uh, actually, uh, Mr. Chair, ganito po yan eh. Uh, on the part of us po kasi, for example, kami po yung, yung sa planning department po namin, lahat po yun, uh, we, they identify everything kung ano po yung nasa uh, PIP natin, yung infrastructure program ng departamento. Pag nasama po siya ron, yun po yung inaaral natin. Now, if there are proposal na, halimbawa, katulad ko kay Mr. Chair, na uh, uh, they look na viable na i-conduct, Masasama lang po yun sa amin, din i-request po namin for funding para sa study po niya. Para kung sakali mang maging PPP siya, siya yung magiging solicited. Uh, If, niya, pero kung may study na ho, and then good to go na yung project, um, sino yung nagsasabi na ah, ito gaan na lang, or ito PPP, or ito ODA? Uh, that, uh, Mr. Chair, that's, uh, mad madam, that's an uh, option of the... Is it a PPWH... May chance po gano'n. PPWH ba yung nag-vivet, uh, or is it DOF, or DBM, or um, PSED? May chance po gano'n, but we go to NEDA. And then, uh, yes, so yes Neda, we go to NEDA. So NEDA ang mag-vivet? Malaking man. Ay, si Isia. Oh, okay. ang nagdid... Mr. Chair, pwede ko ho bang sagutin? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. So, uh, the economic managers, na nandiyan po ang DOF, DBM, at saka ang NEDA. So, between the three of them, they decide on the modality for yung mga nakaraan po, no? which, which ones will be ODA, which ones ang itutuloy as GAA or PPP. So, yung pong, so ito malaking influence po nitong, ito pong ating tatlong economic managers. Ito ng DOF. Oh, DOF. Uh, importante yan. Um, pwede na makuha natin yung uh, panig ng DOF. Uh, ano yung ano nila? Ma masabi dito sa ano na to? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, from the Bureau of the Treasury, sir, uh, we just have comments on uh, just three, uh, three items. One, on the Project Development and Monitoring Facility Fund. Uh, ang suggestion lang po natin dito sa bill is i-harmonize po siya sa cash management uh, practices ng government. Being a revolving fund for the PPP Center, uh, hindi po nag hindi po in line yung nature niya as a revolving fund na if fund po siya through the GAA, since yung revolving fund fund po ay retained within the PPP Center. Next po, uh, dun sa uh, PPP Contingent Liability Fund, which is proposed to uh, under uh, Senate Bill Number Fifteen. Uh, Currently, sir, we have a risk management fund as part of the unprogrammed uh, risk management program as part of the unprogrammed fund. For 29, for 2020, there's a 30 billion proposal. 2019, po 10 billion yung ating na approve as part of the risk management program. Uh, our suggestion is that the contingent liability fund be harmonized with the risk management program. Particularly po, uh, pondohan po natin yung CL fund through the unprogrammed uh, fund ng government. Being a contingent liability fund, hindi po tayo sure na magmamaterialize po yung ganitong mga uh, triggers or yung mga incidents na makakapag-claim po. And having a standing fund for these, parang insurance po, will not be very efficient Uh, for the national government since yung funds po na to are, will be idle and can better be used for other projects of the government. So better po na yung contingent liability fund be part of the unprogrammed fund and harmonize na lang po sa risk management program. Uh, thank you. Uh, maganda yung uh, suggestion na yan. Uh, Pag-usapan natin yan sa, sa sunod sa either uh, next hearing or uh, TWD. Um, since uh, <laughs> <laughs> Malapit ng 3 o'clock, uh, mag, mag session na kami. So, uh, a lot of things we discussed today. Uh, I would like to thank to all the uh, resource person na nandito. Uh, marami tayong na, napag-usapan about this uh, PPP project. Uh, thank you so much uh, for coming here, for giving time this uh, hearing. Uh, salamat sa inyong lahat. And uh, I declare this uh, public hearing uh, uh, suspended. Thank you, everyone.